I wanted to speak today because I am my father's firstborn. When I was a little child, my father used to read to me every night. And sometimes he'd choose things that I didn't quite understand. But that didn't matter. Because it was always the sound of his voice which comforted me. He'd look up from his text and he'd smile at me. And it was that smile that assured me all night. The security and unconditional love my father gave me would stay with me all of my life. I've made some grave mistakes. I've done some wrong things. Sometimes I thought for the right reasons. But I know that my father loved me, as he loved us all. I know he suffered when we stumbled. I know his love will endure with me, as I hope it will for all of you. I humbly pray that the world he has found will be peaceful. And more deserving of his gentleness. Bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and be always gracious. Amen. On behalf of Mac Corey's family, I thank all of you for coming here today to share in this remembrance of a very special man's life. I've been asked to invite all of you to a reception at the Corey home. Now please bow your heads and pray in silence for God's blessings for the soul of Mac Corey. May the Lord be with all of you. Go in peace. Rachel, I have to get out of here. Honey, let her go. She'll be all right. I'm alone. Everyone will understand. I just, I need to get some fresh air. Well, I didn't expect to see you again so soon, and certainly not under these circumstances. I know what you're feeling. I'm sure you do. You'll get through it, Rachel. I don't know. I don't know if I will. You will strong enough and you'll do it. Everyone we love stays with us if we let them. We all loved him very much. We'll do everything we can to help you get through this. Let's go. 